Hey, what is up, everybody? It is no one shot car back to you with another Star Trek Fleet Command video. Today, we are going to go in a series in a sense. So, yesterday we talked about maximizing your faction credits. Now, let's go to what faction ship to choose. What route should you go? What ships, in my opinion, are the best route to go from your base faction ships up to G4 faction ships? As you know, I haven't reached full G4 faction ships, but I have a fair amount of information that comes from a lot of of the higher end players that basically tell you what route to go and give you that heads up when you get there maybe in a year maybe two years maybe whenever you get down to the line but at least it's going to be a informed decision like we all need to know one thing i want to address is um i'm going to be trying to upload these videos at 4k at this point because i have a gigabit connection so gig up gig down so i'm gonna try doing these bigger files for you guys so you guys can see if it's any more of a quality improvement if it isn't let me know if it is Cool, I'm gonna continue doing it. So let's get into the video. So we're gonna look at our faction ships. Actually, let's go look at the factions we'll start with. So Federation, Klingon, and Romulan. All right, so the Federation has the Mayflower, the Saladin, the Intrepid, and Enterprise. And if we go into G4 territory, we look at doo -doo 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 -doo, the Kelvin, which is a nice looking ship, the Newton, and the Enterprise A. If we look at Klingon, we have the D4 or D3, Bordis, Brel. I love that ship. D4, Katinga, or as a lot of us call it, is Bazinga, uh, the Corner, and the Hekta. And we go to Romulan. Romulan, Legionary, Centurion. Gladius, Augur, then we go down, we go down, we get the Valdor, which I still love it, I wonder if they ever fixed the phrase, in a, they call it the Explorer now, they used to call it Battleship there, we got the Pilum, and then we have the infamous Tribune. So, now we, that we know what factions have what, what should we focus on for our tier one of our faction battleships, ships in general? So, from, we look at Da, 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 da. We go down, we go down, we got the D3, the Mayflower, and the Legionary. In my opinion, which way would you go? In my opinion, I wouldn't go for any of them. Point blank. I wouldn't go for any of them. I would go for a Vidar if I can get my hands on a Vidar if I was at that level. Or if even a Stella. Those are good compromises. Stella's not a good greatest one, but the Vidar can last you from was it 25 26 and all the way up to your mid 30s because it is a fantastic ship it's a very useful ship but the base tier one faction ships do have their advantages when you're able to max them out maximum i know that's daunting to say when you're able to max them out you're able to re uh, scrap them and you're able to get uh g4 rare or g4s out of them and be able to get free primes out of them as long as you have the dilithium so now we're going into the tier two of the faction battleship. So we have this, we go down to the Bordis, we go down to the Saladin, and we go down to the Centurion. In my opinion, Saladin is always gonna be a winner. Saladin is a amazing ship. It is one of the best ones at this level, in my opinion, but it does have its fallbacks. Cause if you already have Vidar and you get a Saladin, you have two interceptors. So you have no counters in PvP at that point two way explorers my other favorite at this point in this game is the bordis why is the bordis one of my favorites it is great it's a great grinding ship when i got the ship it was my main grinding ship for a long period of time that is another great one i have really never used the romulan centurion the centurion has never been like one of those ones that like oh my god must have must have must have it wasn't one of those i have the ship and i hardly use it but it has its use cases that I haven't really used it before. Now we go drop down into the G3 territory. We have an Intrepid, a Gladius, and where's the Brel at? I some call it Breed Brel. The Brel. So, in my opinion, if you guys can focus on Klingon and you can focus on Federation, you're dual doing it, it'll be the Brel is the top choice. Why the Brel? Why would I say the Brel? When fighting hostiles, the first round of combat, the Brel increases the 
uh, uh, yeah, the opponent's ship piercing. Uh, but it just helps you out for hostile killing. It's a hostile killing machine. It was a great ship for killing a lot of PvP. I killed D4s in it. Or not D4s. I have jellies, black jellies in it. And I was amazed by it. Not no more. That ship jellies get strong, but lower levels, the broken head home actually. And then the other ship would be it wouldn't be the Intrepid. And it wouldn't be the Gladius. Intrepid, yeah, I hear it's a great grinding ship. It's great, it's great, it's great, but it's a horrible PvP ship. I wouldn't go for the Intrepid, but I hear it's a great grinder, but I've never really used it. And the Gladius. It's it's probably the best grinder out of them all because it gives you a 35% weapon increase and that scales up as you tear the ship up. So you can take that into thought. I would say it's hard in my opinion these days. So let's go from the tier one first. So tier one, don't get any of them. If we can get a Vidar. Tier two, Saladin, easily Saladin and Bordas. Tier three, just the bro. The rest, no. If you want to get Grinder, get the Gladius or save your credits for your officers or your G4 Epic. So your G4 Epics, we have the USS Enterprise. We have the Augur and we have the D4. I have all three of these. And in my opinion, hands down, the Enterprise is the way to go. The Enterprise is one of the best G3 Epic ships and it puts competition to some of the G4 ships. It is a jelly, black jelly killing machine. The second is gonna definitely be the Augur. Now that we have Captain Giorgio, where we actually have a functioning burn crew, the Augur is an amazing ship. Augurs are a great counter now to Enterprises with the proper crewing. So that is another great one. At this point in my eyes, the Augur and the Enterprise sit hand in hand at their level. They are amazing at what they do. And now that we go down to the D4, the D4 is only use case. I haven't seen a great one is for chasing down enemies. Chasing them down if you're coming through your territories or coming through your system, you're able to get there quick when you put a, a pan crew on there and speed to get them. But still Rialto can outrun it, but it ain't gonna do the same amount of damage as a D4 can. And now that we're going into the G4 territory, there's only one route to go and one route open. Once you lock these factions in the three of them, you wanna go Romulan. And why Romulan? Because they have Let's get down the line of pipes. So da, 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 we go down, we go down, we go down. And we have the Valdor is a great starting G4 ship. If we look at the stats, mitigation 30% when defending. So when it's getting hit, is it defending a station? Just defending. No, it's a da, 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 da. so it's a great ship just to even have your station. But it's a great ship in general. Then we have the Pilum. I've seen the Pilum knock out the Hegta. This ship is crazy it is great and then we get down to the daddy the mac daddy of ships the tribune it is the mac daddy of them all it is the most ferocious the biggest ship looking in the game and this goes up as it levels as your opponent is burning at the start of each round the tribune increases the number of shots of each weapon by uh, by three for this round burning Giorgio, tribune oh my god this thing's a killer it is one of the biggest ships in the game. It is a god awful monster if you could ever get there. It is beautiful. As G4 territory goes, this is where you want to be. You want to stop at that point of going to other factions and then focus on ROM after you can get past the epic territories in G3. ROM is going to be your sweet spot. Yes, I've the most of these aren't the greatest. Most of uh, uh, uh Federation aren't the greatest, but in the wrong or the Klingon territory, as you see, I am Klingon. I know I messed up, but I'm going for the corner. The corner is another great ship. That is where it stops. The Hegtha isn't great compared to the Tribune. If I see videos of like Hegtha's knocking out Tribunes, then I'll be like, eh. but not right now. The Mac Daddy is the cor the Tribune. And then the Romulan territory, and if you want to go Klingon, I would say get the corner or maybe hit that billion mark, lock that faction in, and then start focusing on Romulans and get that grind fest going all over again. All right, guys, I wanted to go with this video and record this kind of information for you guys. Just another ship by ship one. 
And that's about it. Remember, hit the like, the subscribe button, the bell notification down below. Remember, there is a Discord. Come join the Discord. Become awesome. There is a donation link down below. If you want to help out, click that. Hit the donate. Go for it. And below that, if you want to help the channel out, you want to help support the channel, if you have a pop-up blocker or anything else along those lines that you don't see ads coming through these videos, go down below. Click the join button. Become a member for $2, 5 10 or $20 a month. That is at your discretion. And if you do become a member, don't forget to attach your Discord to your YouTube. So if you're in my Discord, you get the special role of a member. All right, guys. It is No One Shout signing out. Have a wonderful day. Peace out.